Communication is critical, which is why there's a big push here in our state to start a blue alert system. Elizabeth Irwin is live in our newsroom. And Elizabeth, this technology here could really keep all of us safe. It sure could. Chris, you've heard of an Amber Alert, right? Well, this is pretty similar. It's something about a dozen other states already have, and now there are two groups in Arizona making a big push to bring the Blue Alert to our state. Uh, John was a sergeant uh, with the Arizona Department of Public Safety, and he was killed on August the 31st, 1990. Sergeant John Blasser was killed by a drunk driver on August 31st, 1990. The loss was tremendous. John and I had just celebrated our third wedding anniversary and uh, he was 36 years old. His name joins dozens of others at the Arizona Peace Officers Memorial. His death inspired his wife Jan to help others. She joined COPS, or Concerns of Police Survivors. The group is teaming up with the Arizona Highway Patrol Association to bring blue alerts to our state. The information can get out there much quicker. It's a system designed to let people know right away if an officer has been injured or killed and police are still searching for the suspect. Kind of like how an Amber Alert lets us know right away about a missing child. As many of us know that communications is very different from agency to agency. The blue alert would erase the problems of communication barriers between departments, making it easier to catch the bad guys. It's already being used in 18 states. California is one, um, uh, Utah and Colorado, some of our states right around us. And Jan hopes this year our state lawmakers will give blue alert the green light. And Jan says just like you get an alert on your cell phone when there's an amber alert, you could get the same for a blue alert when there's a potentially dangerous criminal in your area. Now we'll just have to wait and see what your lawmakers do with this plan. Certainly sounds like it could help all of us, especially the men and women in uniform. Thank you very much for telling us about that this evening, Elizabeth.